Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name's Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching us. We're coming to you from Interop New York 2010, day two, on our program today, Guy Naor. He is the CTO of Morph Labs. Hello, Guy. How are you? Hi. I'm good. So tell me a little bit about Morph Labs. Morph Lab is a cloud-enabling company. So we build software that actually enable a full-stack cloud solution for both MSPs, data centers, and enterprises. And the idea is that it's a full solution from all the way from the infrastructure as a service layer all the way to a fully enterprise ready deployment and management solution. So your typical customer would be who? It will be either an MSP that need, you know, the managed service provider that have their own small businesses client, the data centers that need to provide a large cloud to their own local clients or enterprises that need inside the enterprise a private cloud. So anyone that cannot put their application or data on the public cloud is considered a client. Uh, usually we go for clients in the, in the enterprise. It's up to 2,000, 3,000 virtual machines. So we're talking about a few hundred servers. Uh, if we're talking about data center, it's a much larger deployment. And how long has the company been around? Almost four years. So really, as, as cloud started to take off? Actually, we started on the Amazon cloud, on EC2, oh, really? providing our solution on top of EC2, when it was just launched in 2006, end of 2006, we started with that. Uh, we released our first uh, product in the beginning of 2008 on top of Amazon. And later, we, when there were more options for private cloud solutions, we took it and made it into a more, into a private cloud and we're actually relaunching our Amazon based solution more as a introduction to how the whole system work uh, next month. And from a competitive standpoint, what do you see in the market? Well, uh, we don't have any direct competitor because we cover the full stack. Uh, you can see a lot of other companies doing parts of the stack that are competing with us. So we have the in the infrastructure as a service. We're currently using Eucalyptus and we are part of the OpenStack uh, group. Uh, with this part, we compete actually with many others. There are many infrastructure as a service, you know, cloud.com, uh, AppLogic, and all those companies. Uh, then there is the platform as a service layers that we have. And this is more compatible with something like Spring Source or a Google App Engine, or Force.com, but it lets you do it your own uh, right. platform as a service as you want. But we also have on top of it full monitoring, full configuration system, a deployment system that actually integrates with your regular deployment tool. So if you're using Java, you can deploy from Eclipse or from Maven. If you're doing Ruby on Rails, you can do Capistrano, PHP, there's a script. You don't have to change the way you work, right. and it's f already fully, highly available, automatically backup, failover on everything, healing of applications. So if an application dies, it will auto start it, make sure the load balancer is correct. So it's, it's a top down solution where we looked at it and we say, okay, we want high availability, but what is high availability really? What we want is high availability at the application and service level because users, they don't care how many servers are running or why they're running, but they need the application to run. So when an right. enterprise deploys something, they need the CRM to work. Doesn't right. matter if that one server die and another replaced it, they need the thing to work. So this is our point of view on all the system. So if I'm a company that's looking to become an MSP or um, have some sort of uh, cloud-based service that I want to provide, give me in, in a few bullet points why they should pick up the phone and call you or, or go to your website. What are the direct reasons they need you? Okay, so there are a few things and uh, let's start from the simple one. It's an all-in-one solution. So we come and all you need is hardware. Okay. And actually for enterprise, we even the controller itself, you can get it either as software or as an appliance. So okay. you can just stick the appliance into your, that, into your rack, connect your other machines and do it. So you don't need to understand how you create a cloud, how infrastructure as a service work, how you do deployment to the cloud, how you do management of the cloud. This is all a all so in one solution. Simplification. So very simple. Okay. Second of all, pricing is based on VM per hour. So you don't pay us anything, only when you use it. And the second... So, so per virtual machine, per hour, per so, so it's basically, you're almost leasing the software in a, in a way, right? It, you could kind of, call kind of it a revenue share if you want. Concurrent, concurrent, yeah. Okay. But the idea is that you actually pay a very low amount per virtual machine and you don't have to you know, invest a lot of money 
at the front because if you look at other cloud solutions, right. the cost is very, very sure. high. Sure, so you're really paying as you grow. Yeah, exactly. And you're paying only for what you use. Right. So even if you have 50 machines in your data center, but currently using only two, you, play, you pay for only right. the two. You don't right. pay for the whole 50. Sure. And if you're, you know, we know that cloud is very spiky in the use and you know, you up and down people, sure. you know, release resource, get resources, you pay only what's used. So it's a more, we see it as a more fair and more compatible with the cloud model. If you go into utility billing in the cloud, which is where everyone is going, like if you look at Amazon, EC2, it's all utility billing. You want your whole stack to be utility based. Right. Sure. You don't want your stack to be Okay, I have to buy the software and then I have to calculate how much it is per VM. This, you know, the hardware cost me two cents, the right. license cost me five cents or whatever, and you can calculate your, you can sure. better plan for your revenue and your stream. Well, I like the model because you don't have to invest a ton of money and then wait for the sales. You to, to pick up, yes. Right, you can take your money and you can invest it in marketing and sales activities to generate those sales and then now you've got the infrastructure there and you can... As you grow in sales, you, you, you pay exactly. more flabs. Exactly. Makes sense. Exactly. The ad, and the third thing is that because of the structure of what we do, how the stack is built, you can actually fully standardize your enterprise IT without any effort. So we use a full configuration management, which means that you know that every virtual machine is configured exactly in the same way, in okay. the correct way. If you want to deploy now patches or bug fixes, it's just one setting in the configuration That's manager great. and everything is already done. So we've got about 30 seconds left. What's next for your company? So we're releasing at the uh, beginning of next month, we're releasing the on-demand version of our cloud, uh, which will be uh, available on EC2 and you can just sign up and try the system and then you can move it inside. Oh, okay. We're moving uh, next year, we will be releasing a hybrid solution where you can do both EC2 and your internal at the same time wow. on the same system. So for redundancy? Redu more for scaling. Let's say you have, you know that you need a uh, specific amount, right. but your web layer needs to be scaled. Sure. So you can spill over into Amazon. But if one goes down, well, assuming... Yeah, so you still have also availability right. with it. Okay. But the system is built that even if you have, you know, multiple rack, you can make sure that each rack is separate okay. and it will never go down. It Good. will keep your application running. And the last thing later on, we're actually adding also peering, the ability to connect multiple clouds to each other and every remote control of the clouds. Thanks, Guy. Thanks for being on the program. Thank you. Nice to meet you today.